Sometimes you come across something in the world that just makes you stop and appreciate humanity. Appreciate the beauty that can come from the toil of human hands. And I wanted to talk about it a little bit because I often find myself in mired in the negativity and the criticism of the internet content churn and fail to appreciate the more beautiful products that are put out by the infinitely creative body of work that it's there for us to see if only we look for it. How about making a simple showcase, pointing at something and saying, look at this, this is beautiful, you should appreciate it. Let's start with Artis Artifacts, this enormously talented fellow. He played through Elden Ring and he made a beautiful illustrated journal, every page an event in Elden Ring and you see him flipping through this thing and it's just the most gorgeous piece of art. The, the sheer scope and ambition of such an endeavor of illustrating everything that's happening in a video game as, as expansive, as insanely all-encompassing as Elden Ring with the insane amount of lore that happens. He goes through a single volume of these journals and it's only like maybe the first five six hours of the video game and to realize that he's actually doing the entire game is just insane and you look at the art and the framing of every page it is a gorgeous work on every page and you appreciate the attention to detail that's what one of the things that's you know beyond the incredible artistry of it something that struck me is like the intense attention to detail of the looking at the, the models and the backstory and illustrating not just all oh, what the screenshot looks like but more like the spirit of the things in the game kind of connected with the entire experience of playing modern video games how you are playing it with half your brain while your other half half listens to whatever drama is happening on the other monitor, whatever piece of passive content you are consuming, you are listening to Asmongold bitch about the latest video game drama, or maybe Tom Dark telling you all about the YouTuber that spent 10 million dollars on cocaine and then went on a bender that landed him in jail, all while enjoying an incredible piece of art that you're just not giving it your due. I've been trying to turn off that secondary stream of content and just focus on the one thing I'm doing. It's like if you're, if the experience doesn't feel like it warrants your full focus, don't even do it. And that's what really comes across when you watch this wonderful piece of art flip through all those pages. It's like this man really paid attention. He does say, all the lore that he puts down, it's like after the fact he learned of these things, just like the rest of us, while you're playing Elden Ring, you have no idea what's going on, you read the descriptions, you kind of get an idea, but not really the details, that's the kind of thing you dig into later. He's, he also did that, so it's not like, oh, as he's playing, he is coming up with these incredible illustrations. It's like more of a multi-step process, but it takes nothing away from the incredible accomplishment of it. He posted also a video where he shows his process because I, I was looking at it, it's like, does he even outline? There's no line art here. It's all beautiful watercolors. And he does outline it in like a, a blue slight pencil and then he does watercolors on top of it. And it's just, the entire process was just so awe-inspiring. I really wanted to point at it and tell you, you really should enjoy this. This is a piece of beauty in the world. It should be cherished. Your attention should go towards it because his soul deserves it. I'm gonna try to keep bringing up pieces of art and just beautiful things in the world like this because sometimes I will stop and be like, this is, this is just wonderful. This is wonderful and why not talk about it? Make no judgment upon it other than pointing out its beauty. So there you have it, artist artifacts. He doesn't just do this Elden Ring journal it's simply what blew up his uh, channel what he's trying to do it uh, at the time of this recording he almost has a million views on the first video but if you go through his channel he actually has a whole bunch of original concepts like the same idea just not based on elden ring just sketchbooks filled with 
gorgeous pieces of art. And I'm just in awe of this man, and I wanted you to also pay attention to him. Don't despair, it's not all bad out there. I'll bring you more things that are beautiful.